Breakfast time on cooking with Jerry. I have a Teflon frying pan. It's been on a low heat for about one minute. I am going to add one tablespoon of salted butter using my spatula to get the leftover butter that's stuck on the spoon and I also want to put a little bit of virgin olive oil I'm trying never to use extra virgin oil for cooking much better to have that extra virgin oil raw so that's going to heat up uh, and the background to this breakfast we did one video already uh, about a month ago. I learned this from uh, one of my cousins when I was staying at her house for a few days in England. She really enjoys banana and egg together. Just those two ingredients and she'll, I don't remember if she fried them. I think she did. I was just thinking maybe in a microwave could be possible. So that's what we're doing but I want to add more ingredients. Uh, and first that's going in is this broccoli that I washed and cut into smaller pieces. That's going to cook for about one minute. Excuse me. Letting the butter and the olive oil get into the broccoli. Give it a nice flavor. I'll cover that. And while I'm cooking, I have uh, another list for you. I watched uh, part of an interview. It's a long video, over three hours, and I got to watch the first half hour. Uh, the title of the video is, These Habits Destroy Your Health and Decrease Lifespan. Now, I didn't actually get to those habits. It must be later on in the video. There is Dr. David Sinclair and the interviewer is Lewis House. So if you want to watch that video, uh, I suggest you search with the title of the, that I just gave on the YouTube site. Uh, really interesting what the science is discovering about um, my eyes are not so well. How do we reverse aging and why do we age? So many scientists are focusing on that area and Dr. David Sinclair is one of those scientists who's specializing in that field. So here is three things that Dr. David Sinclair recommends to live a healthier life. Number one eat less often and we're hearing a lot now about uh, in, in the, the dieting intermittent fasting where you go uh, a portion of the 24-hour day without eating and I've heard before that at least 12 hours but much better to get to the 16 hours of not eating and he recommends even 18 hours of not eating. So number one, eat less often. Here in this bowl I have three farm fresh eggs I got from my neighbor about three days ago. They're fairly small so that's why I put three. Just a gentle scramble with the spoon and then they're going in to the frying pan using vinegar afterwards regular white vinegar to clean anything that I have raw egg on so that bowl this spoon this spatula and this frying pan I will clean with vinegar as well as dish soap so I am going to just Stir that around.
And then I'm going to put, this is a romaine lettuce that I washed and cut up into pieces. It's a fairly quick breakfast, quick in terms of preparation, cooking. That's going to cook for about a minute. Number two, exercise. To live a healthy lifestyle, you must exercise. And he gives the examples of running and lifting things, which I will use the words instead of running, I'll just say moving, which means be active. How many hours of the day are you sitting, sleeping, compared to are you on your feet doing movement? And the lifting things parts is about putting some positive stress on the body, on the bones, on the joints, on the muscles, on the ligaments, to have that extra um, ability to stay strong, uh, especially as we age, really important. So now I'm going to put in the here is three Brazil nuts that I'm just chopping up into smaller pieces and about 10 almonds. I washed these already and the science says it could be better if they're soaked overnight. There's a difference of opinion among the experts. So that's going in. It's not going to cook, it's just going to heat through. And the romaine lettuce doesn't take long. The broccoli will still be a little bit crunchy, which is how I like it. Another minute and I'll turn the fire off. And number three, he says, eat more plants. And uh, I live a mostly vegetarian lifestyle, which my definition, I eat fish once or twice a month and chicken once or twice a month. But the other meals, they're plants, vegetables, fruits, but not so often with the fruits. Here I'm in a tropical environment, so I have locally grown grapes and bananas that are going to go in this once I turn the heat off. I don't want to cook them just to heat them through. So eat more plants and the, the bigger the variety of plants that you can eat, vegetables especially, the more vitamins, minerals, good stuff you're going to be feeding your body and very important I'm learning is the health of the gut microbiome, the intestine, the, the gut flora, the good bacteria and they really enjoy the vegetables, the leafy greens, broccoli, broccoli sprout I've learned recently is very healthy. So think about that as part of a regular daily life style uh, to be healthier. And he also gave a list of the five things that most doctors recommend. Number one, don't smoke. Number two, don't drink. Number three, eat good food. Eat real food compared to eating the processed, pre-packaged, pre-cooked. I like to give the advice if you look at the food item and you can determine what plant or animal it came from then it's very likely healthy. If you can't determine what plant or animal it came from, then it's very likely processed. Uh, lots of additives uh, which are not really food. So stick with the real food. Number four, sleep well. It's really important that you give your body enough time to rejuvenate, to recover. We have two main systems, uh, one is the rest and digest, and one is the fight or flight. We need, I think, as much time as possible in the rest and digest, especially with the stressful lifestyles that many people live.
And the last one is don't stress out. It's also really important. So, I don't know why I put this way over there. We're going to need it. Here is a banana, a small handful of grapes. Uh, I washed the grapes and I took them off the, the stem. And also a handful of roasted hazelnuts. I prefer not to roast the nuts, but that's how they arrived. Because the roasting uh, with the high temperature changes the chemistry of the product. Any kind of cooking actually damages the food. So that's one reason why I try to cook my food as little as possible. And I, whenever I can, I eat raw food as far as salad goes and uh, whatever else I can eat raw. And the final ingredient, well, first of all, let's put some coarse grain pink salt, two pinches. And here I have a solid piece of pure cocoa. I am going to shave a little bit into the meal. It'll give that nice chocolate flavor. I learned also recently uh, Dr. William Lee, another one of these leading scientists doing some great research, discovering new things. Pure chocolate, pure cocoa is healthy. Uh, he speaks a lot about the gut microbiome. His area of expertise is angiogenesis, the creation of cells. And he says that 80% dark chocolate and up towards pure dark chocolate is really good for the gut microbiome. Anything less than an 80% dark chocolate and there's too much sugar. Especially with the milk chocolate and that white chocolate that I used to love as a child, even up to probably 20 years ago, white chocolate is so much sugar but used to be really tasty so that's it for the pure chocolate close that up and I'll give it a final spin combining all the ingredients and I turned the fire off you probably noticed because I don't want to cook the fruit I don't want to cook so much the nuts. The lettuce doesn't take long to cook. And this is just the combination of ingredients that I have chosen for this breakfast. But you can choose what you like. The main two ingredients were banana and egg. And then add whatever you have in the kitchen, whatever you like your preferences. Maybe you can have uh, two separate frying pans going so that you can feed your family because many times people have different preferences. Maybe some people don't like broccoli and this wouldn't be enjoyable so you could do one with broccoli, one without broccoli. Anyway, so that's uh, that was basically it that I wanted to say from the show. I've only, like I said, watched the first half hour. Uh, variety in biology, I'll repeat again, the more different kinds of real food you can eat, the more you'll be providing your body with beneficial nutrition to keep your body strong. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Sorry, back again. I realized I forgot to show you something that I forget regularly. So here it is. That's the breakfast with all those yummy, healthy, tasty ingredients. And I added also a bit of extra virgin coconut oil. So there's breakfast. It could actually be a side dish. You might not want the banana. Uh, if you're going to have it for a lunch or a dinner and the grapes as well. These grapes have a very thick skin and seeds so there's going to be a crunch during the eating process which is fine. The grape seed provides a lot of um, fiber and oils. So that's it. Thank you again. Bye bye.